Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me Desiree. This is a very impromptu video. Uh, I even have soil stuck in my nails and everything and all over my hands. I just changed out my shirt and I was like, let's just film the video. Um, I was going around to every single plant that I have. It was a very lazy day, didn't have a lot going on today and I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Something I've never done before, which is, I, well I do this regularly. I carry around one of these like drip trays and my little scissors. And I just go around to different plants and see what they need chopped off and I just kind of carry it around like that. But today I decided, you know what, I'm going to go to every single plant and see if they need something. Do they need water? Then I'm going to go put it in the water. Does it need a repot? I'm going to repot it right now. Cut off some dead leaves. Just kind of maintain every single plant and it's been such a great just lazy afternoon of plant care and I didn't think to film it. Maybe next time. But while I was doing my rounds, I found a variety of plants here that uh, have passed on to the great beyond to the great I have you know gathered up a bunch of plants here that are either dead that I forgot about that uh, I'm I want them just throwing out but most of these are dead and just some fails that I also had that I want to share with you so let me show you the one I'm just gonna throw out that isn't dead yet but I'm like over it it's this one right here this is the um, Stromanthi Trio Star or Trio Star. Uh, it's really pretty. It's a really pretty plant. It's got this, okay, I'm talking myself out of it. Hold on, that leaf looks good. Maybe I could save this one piece of the plant and not this whole thing. Hmm, let's get closer. I like the camera being far away because you could see all the plants in the background, but then I feel like you can't see what I'm talking about, you know? Anyway, I was just gonna throw this away, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, ugh. I can bring it back. This is a Stromanthi Trio Star. Um, I don't know, it's just ugly. I like the leaves, it's pretty, but it looks ugly in this pot. I never stay on top of it, I don't know what it is, but sometimes they're just those plants that, like I know it needs water, it clearly needs water, and I know that, but every time I see it, I'm like, eh, I don't really care to water it, like I can't be bothered, and I don't know, I just, I just don't want it anymore. I don't like the way it looks. I don't want to maintain it. I don't want to keep looking at it. Um, maybe I'll save this one three leaf part or maybe this little piece. Maybe, maybe I'll save that. But the rest, I'm going to throw it away. I don't, I don't really want it anymore. I'm tired of it. I don't even know why I bought it. I don't know. I thought it would be like a Calathea, but I find Calathea way easier than this. This is just not like, not working for me. So I'm going to throw it out but I might save a piece of it. Okay, let's move on to the plants that have died. So the first one is one I'm so sad about this. I was so upset about it, I didn't cry or anything, but I was just really bummed out all day about my pine tree. So I got this as a gift for Christmas. It was one of those ones that they put out that has little Christmas ornaments on it and stuff. And I thought it was gonna die right away because I thought it was like, um, I don't know, just an, an ornamental cute thing for Christmas. But it stayed alive and it only died a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this plant needs water. You cannot let it dry out at all. Because once you do, the little pine parts here are no longer going to be soft. They're going to be stiff and hard as a rock and dead. I don't think there's a way to bring this back. I'm pretty sure it's just gone. Um, I do want to buy another one for Christmas because I loved this. It was big and full. It was so full here on the bottom. Uh, it was just such a great plant. I would touch it all the time. It was so soft. I did a lot of like online researchy stuff and everybody said this plant needs to stay moist. Once you let it dry out once, if you miss one watering, that's it. It's really hard to come back from and I couldn't come back from it. I did cut off all of the dead stuff and this was all that was left but it didn't even bounce back. Like it's it's dried up and dead and I feel so sad because it was doing so good. It was just it was just thriving away and I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna have a pine tree in the house. But unfortunately, didn't work out and I will buy another one now that I know how to take care of it and know how kind of easy it is. Don't let it dry out. Um, I also had this plant in a low light area and it did great. It was always busting out new growth. It was just beautiful, but he did. Okay, the next plant that died was the one I didn't even notice. I didn't even see this coming. Okay, this, this, these are the remains of a snake plant called whale fin. 
And it's not supposed to be yellow and brown and crispy. It's supposed to be green and beautiful. And I had it sitting over there for the longest time. And one day I noticed this little yellow spot on it. And I thought, oh God, that's it. There's no coming back from a yellow leaf. Like the whole thing's gonna turn yellow eventually. And I didn't really know what happened. I don't know if this, so it seems to have gotten like super dry right here. And I thought maybe it just needed water. Cause you know, this kind of plant really is tricky for me to know when to water it. Um, I watered it, maybe that was what's wrong with it. But now I'm thinking like, because it's so dry that maybe it was being underwatered. I don't know. But I noticed this little new baby growing right here. So even though the big mama plant died, she used all of her energy to sprout out a little baby. So I'm gonna try to cut this off. Maybe it might even just fall out, I don't know. And save this little baby and nurture it and try to grow it into a big beautiful leaf. I was super excited to see that because I was so sad that this one died. And I did find this at the grocery store too, which I think was a pretty good find. But yeah, the old snake plant has gone to the great beyond. The old compost pile in the sky? I don't know. Okay, I have a few succulents that have bit the dust as well and I have learned my lesson with succulents already. There are certain ones I can take on. I can take on cactus. I can take on string of sometimes. I can do certain types of succulents, but the Echeveria is not for me. I'm done with Echeveria. They are so beautiful when you get them, but they're really, really, really tricky for me to know what the heck they need, which is why they end up like this. Whoops. Uh, this is actually an interesting one because it never did anything. It never grew, it never died, it never, it just always felt like it was hard as a rock. And then one day it looked like this. So that one's um, a garbage. This one too, same. Um, I guess I could save some of these leaves. They'll pop off really easily and put them in my little propagation thing. But even then, I'm not gonna do anything with the propagations. They're in a little drip tray with soil and they're growing in there, but I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna take those plants that are this little and go pot them up delicately in a pot. I'm never gonna do that. I just put them there to see them grow and I'm probably just gonna throw them out. I don't know. I'm gonna throw this away too though. He did. And then this one, this one I was so sad about, but this was a mistake that I made. This is another succulent. Uh, I loved this one. It was growing so cool and crazy and I had it sitting up here. Let me show you. It was just right here. I don't even know if you could see now with this dead pine tree in the way. It was on the shelf right here at the edge because I like to put everything right on the edge because I feel like they balance better that way. And the little arms were sticking out a lot and I, I knocked it when I was getting up from the chair here and it fell upside down on the floor. The, the soil was everywhere, the plant cracked and broke everywhere and it never really bounced back. It just kept dying from there and I kept looking at it and hoping it was gonna bounce back but it didn't, uh, and this was definitely my fault. This was not an Echeveria. I don't remember what it was now, of course, but this is one I would buy again. It was a, such a good plant. It looked really cool. It was growing all the time, but I dropped it, and yeah, he's he didn't he, he didn't he did not recover. Spit it out. Okay, this next one. Oh boy, oh boy. This is a plant that I tracked down. I wanted it so bad and it's a it was a big Echeveria succulent. I kept seeing them at Smith's. They were $18. They were about this big. Huge. I didn't want to pay that much and I just knew they were going to go on sale. So I finally found one. $9. And this is what's left of it. So this plant kept growing. You know when they get stretched out and their leaves start to look like they're like hanging down rather than out? I don't mind that look. I have some succulents that have that look and I like it. But this one kept looking melted. It looked like a melted candle. And that's what my boyfriend would always call it. Like, what's wrong with that melted candle? And I was like, oh, it's just stretching towards the sun. Like it's, it's just something that it does. But then one day the whole plant like tilted this way, which it, this gray part here is the plant. It tilted that way. And then I went to touch it and a whole bunch of leaves just like went, pff, fell right off. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why they do that. Um, again, like I could go sit these in the soil and it's gonna grow a plant that's like this little out of here. It's so cute. It's really cute, but they take forever to grow and I'm never gonna do anything with those little tiny plants anyway. Um, anyway, I don't know why it turned gray like this and rotten looking because it looked just fine a week or two ago. 
it just looked like it was bent over. Like it was like, all right, I'm top heavy. I'm falling out of the pot. Help me. Um, and then one day it just looked great. Like it looks like it's burned, like ashes. I don't know what's wrong with it, but another one that I loved the look of for a very long time. I bought this last year. And, did I buy it last year or earlier this year? No, it was last year. I remember. Do I? I, I don't know. I always try to guess on when I bought things. I, I don't know. I have no concept of time. I've had it for a long time and I did have it through winter. That's all I know. Um, and it was doing great. I don't know what happened, but it has moved on and decided I didn't want to live in my house anymore. But now I have this big, beautiful pot to fill up with something else that definitely could use that pot better than this plant could. Okay, I have one, no, I have two more. So I have another snake plant here in a pot that I still haven't taken the sticker off of. Let's do this. Okay. This was a snake plant called starfish. It had like four or five big fingers like this back here and they were like fanned out. I'll put a picture of one here so you can see what it looks like. I loved that plant and I'm pretty sure I had just shown it in a video uh, or not too long ago. So I don't know what happened. I've actually never watered it because it's like hard as a rock. I just felt like it didn't need it. And it was growing these two babies too. Like it grew this big one, it's growing this little one here. So I just felt like, oh, it's doing great. It doesn't need any, any water. But it started feeling a little bit soft and I thought, okay, it needs water now. I better water it. I watered this plant one time, one time since I had it. And I bought it the same time I bought the, the whale fin too. They died at the same time. It's like the warranty wore out and it's like, mm, suddenly you need, to work, you need to work and your warranty's expired. That's what seems like happened here. Their warranty expired. Anyway, what am I talking about? Okay, I watered it one time, and once you know it, it immediately turned yellow. One of the little finger arm things here was super yellow, and I was like, of course that would happen. I watered it once, and then all the other ones started turning yellow. One of them broke off, it was mushy, and then the other ones I just like picked up like this and they fell right off. So there's a little stem there. Uh, but it has little babies growing there, and now I know I'm never going to water them. They're going to be fine. But that big one, I watered it once, and the whole plant just mushed. I don't know. Weird. Okay, this last one I want to talk about is a fail on my part in overwatering. This is a begonia called Red Ruby, and as you can see, it's now living in water, which means it didn't go well living in the pot. This is a begonia that I absolutely love. I know it looks like a peperomioides or it looks like a peperomia, but it is a begonia. It's got this little red dot with the red stem. It's such a beautiful plant. But what I have learned with this one is that it doesn't like to be dried out. And I got into this habit of touching it every few days, like touching the topsoil. And if the topsoil felt dry, I'd put some water in it. And it was doing great with that kind of care. But then I got cocky. I was like, you know what? I already know how to water that plant. I don't need to check the soil every time. So I just started putting water in it. I wouldn't even check it until one day the whole plant was flopped over. All of the leaves were super duper soft and the soil was sopping wet. And I went, oh my God, I overwatered it. So um, I took the whole plant out of the plastic container and I just set it there hoping it would dry out. Couple days on by, it was still wet, wet, wet. Um, so I decided to take the scissors to it and I cut the whole thing up and put it in water and it is doing so much better. The leaves have bounced back. They feel nice and firm now. I also filled up this whole little propagation thing here. Let me turn it around so you can see the good side of it. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool in here. And a couple of these have tiny, tiny little roots coming out of them, but the plant did bounce back. Like it, it looks great. The leaves are nice and firm again. They've perked up. They're not soft. I also didn't know how to propagate this plant. I just assumed because it looks like a peperomia that it would propagate straight from the stem. And it seems like that's what's happening because a couple of these already have little tiny roots growing from them. So I think the stem cutting was perfectly fine because this plant doesn't really have nodes, you know? So I took a chance, I cut it up and it seems to be working. Like that one right there has two roots growing from it. So this was a fail on my part, but I have done this before where I've overwatered a plant and I see the signs, I see that it's turning gray and I'll chop off all the good parts and hope they'll work with water propagation. And it's gonna work, I think it's gonna be okay. But yeah, fail on my part. But luckily with root rot and stuff and overwatering, you can usually save the plant. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but thought I would try it out and I think it's going okay. 
Anyway, that is it. Those were my fails for the month. Some plants I'm throwing out, some plants that have died, a mistake on my part, and just, you know, overall plants I'm getting rid of. But anyway, that is it. Let me know some plants you failed at this month. I would love to know what they are. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one, and I will see you later in another video.